What's going on guys? Welcome back to another reaction. In today's video, I'm very excited to check out more of Rosé's covers, starting off with her cover of Halsey's Eyes Closed. Now, I'm actually uh, a bit of a fan of Halsey, especially when she released her song Nightmare. It was on repeat for like, I think a couple of days straight, if not even a week. Uh, I really, really like that song. Uh, Obviously, there are some other songs by Halsey that I really, really enjoyed. I'm not sure if I had listened to Eyes Closed. Probably, I just can't remember. I also wasn't aware that this is going to be a proper studio version cover of that song. I thought this was going to be like a live performance. And I've seen a live performance video on YouTube, but the quality of the audio didn't seem to be all that great. So for that reason, we'll start off with her re- so for that reason, we'll start off with her cover of Halsey's Eyes Closed. Now let's get into it. I like the little animation on the flower. A rose from my Rosie. <laughs> Fuck, that was cringy as, as shit. I got chills, like legitimately chills. Uh, let, let's take it back. The more I hear her voice, the more I want her to do like a, like a rock song or so, something among the lines of like alternative rock or something like Evanescence type thing. Like there's something about her voice that for some reason to me, like obviously her voice fits so many different genres. We talked about it uh, on the Sea of Hope performances, I believe, but I just can't shake that feeling of like, what if Rosie was like the vocalist of like an not even Evanescence, maybe like Paramore type uh group. Obviously she covered uh Paramore uh in Sea of Hope, I believe. Uh but just like her voice fits that rock sound so freaking well and I, I just cannot shake it. Let's take it back to this uh wonderful chorus. Thank you. Got it. You know what would be amazing? Rosie and uh, Youngblood. I may have said it before. I may have mentioned Youngblood once in my reactions. That collaboration would be so freaking sick. Like her, their voices would be so complimentary. Ah, oh, fuck no, they would be beautiful. 
The way the song was building, and she got more and more aggressive with her vocals. Like I, I just can't shake that feeling of hearing her voice in something, something a little bit heavier. Like that, that just, that just sounded so freaking amazing. This was absolutely amazing. So without any further ado, let's move on to the next one. Actually, in my sea of hope reactions. I talked about how it would be pretty freaking cool if Rosie covered Skylar Grey, and apparently she did. Uh, when she was in Australia, she covered Coming Home, which is very appropriate. So let's get into it. beautiful and the fact that you can hear that you know the audio is not the greatest in the world her voice still sounds freaking amazing it's it's mind-blowing and then you hear a studio version that she just did with halsey's cover and i i, I just can't get over how incredible she sounds both live and studio it's just it, it's absolutely mind blowing. I mean, that reaction from the crowd as she does those notes it, is everything. Like, I don't need to mention shit. Let's just take it back. Holy... Her smile is just... Yeah. 
Low key, everything that I have around this room, all of my possessions, uh, I'd probably give those to be in that crowd, to be honest, and listen to it live. Not much else that I can say. I love how comfortable she is too Which is an obvious thing to You know it, 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 I just have to state it for some reason Stay, please don't go. Ah, uh, damn, that was quite something. Uh, before we finish this video off, there is another reaction that I want to do, another performance that I want to check out. Uh, and this is not the end, obviously. Uh, you know, w whenever I re react to someone, uh, no matter who it is, you know, the comments are always like, "Oh, you should check this now. You should check this and that." It will all come in time, you know. The music is out there. Uh, and just because I check this instead of checking that, it doesn't mean that I won't check that other thing. It may take a little bit of time, but it's still out there. So as far as I'm concerned, you know, I'm enjoying what I'm reacting to. And to me, it's a win-win. I have more content to explore more music, uh, to explore more falling in love to do with Rosie and everyone else who I'm reacting to because obviously there there's so much stuff and I can only do so much in in one video or in one month or in one year uh you know so uh if there's anything in particular that you wanted me to check out a Rosie um uh, cover specifically with Rosé let me know in the comment section down below obviously and uh, we'll keep that in mind for the next reaction because this is obviously, uh, it's not the end. We're, there's plenty of more content to explore. So um, I just felt uh, like I, I really wanted to check out more of Rosie, uh, especially after Sea of Hope. And thankfully, there's uh, more than a few uh, performances. There's also like uh, a show mask or something where she had a cover 
on that show. So if you want me to check that out, let me know in the comment section down below as well, and we'll make it happen. So let's get into the final reaction of today. Okay, I just want to mention that that dress is, is that sounds kind of funny that I absolutely have to mention the dress, but that dress is, is wonderful, obviously, and it kind of strikes me as something that could have easily been a part of uh, her Gone music video. Uh, so since I ruined the flow of the song, let's take it back a couple of seconds, because uh, despite the fact that the audio quality is not the greatest it doesn't seem to affect rosie one bit she still sounds fucking wonderful I'm sorry, let's take it back. What? Uh, that was absolutely uh fucking chills it, it is all that i got to say to be honest this was absolutely wonderful uh it took me a very long time to uh react to to gone i remember doing my on the ground reaction by rosie uh, a lot of people 
maybe don't know it. I, I talked about it here and there, obviously, the fact that, you know, back then I was recovering from, uh, from a surgery, uh, a botched surgery that led to another surgery that was quite, uh, quite the painful experience. Uh, and that's after already living through, you know, another painful uh, experience with having, you know, open heart surgery and whatnot. Uh, this surgery was, uh, at times, felt even worse. Uh, the recovery aspect and all of the the things that I had to see uh, as far as my body goes, as far as the recovery and, you know, the way my body looked, like a scene of, from a fucking horror story, uh, horror movie, rather. Um, uh, I, I, I don't think I talk about it all that often, but, uh, during those times, uh, of me recovering from that surgery, uh, this reaction channel was quite honestly the only thing that kind of made me forget about, uh, the pain that I was experiencing. Uh, Rosie's on the ground was, uh, around the time when I was recovering from that surgery uh it may have been right after the second surgery or between the first and second because uh you know i had my first surgery it, it seemed to have gone well but then there there was uh a problem and uh i i got very disturbing news that i need to have another surgery and and it was a a very big deal uh you know, even to a point where, you know, uh, the doctor pretty much tells you that, uh, hey, um, you may not wake up from this second surgery, uh, or you may wake up, but uh, uh, if we can't do it the way that we're supposed to do, we're going to have to do it through plan B, and plan B was to have another open heart surgery if plan A wasn't going to be successful. Uh, I essentially had a pacemaker for uh close to 10 years it needed to be replaced uh and uh i had my first surgery and unfortunately uh the wound uh got opened up and therefore got infected and that led to an extraction surgery which was uh which was very scary and uh if they couldn't get everything out the way they were supposed to they would just uh, opt out for plan B, which is open heart surgery. And, uh, you know, that was an, an incredibly uh, stressful time. And that is why I kept on doing reactions. Is because that's the only thing that kind of made me forget about everything that I was experiencing. Like, between me reacting and me kind of just going on about my day, I was in so much pain. and. Uh, it was only when I was actually reacting that I could focus on something other than the pain that I'm experiencing. And Rosie's on the ground was one of those songs that, you know, the whole story of that song was so freaking amazing. Rosie's vocals are obviously amazing. Her visuals are absolutely, she, she's absolutely uh, gorgeous, obviously. And, uh, it was one of those songs that really helped me out in terms of me getting out of that uh, that stressful uh, time period in my life uh, where I didn't know what was going to happen in another week because shit got, you know, even after the second surgery, uh, my whole body, the whole recovery process was a shit show. and. Uh, it was incredibly scary, and it was only when I was reacting to music, which is why I was doing so many reactions, uh, and maybe it's why I'm still doing so many reactions, even though people are telling me, hey, you, you can take a day off, you can, you can take your time, just, uh, we'll be, we'll be here, it's all good. I'm not doing this just because I'm just so thirsty for those views. I'm not doing this because I, I'm thirsty for more subscribers. I'm thirsty for all of this attention. Obviously, attention is part of it. We do this because we want people to relate. We want people to feel a certain way about our reactions. But it's not, it's not 
just that. And to me, uh, doing all these reactions, whether it's then or whether it's now, it's the only thing that kind of makes me forget about whatever is happening in my life. And Rosie's On The Ground was definitely one of those songs because after reacting to it while I was editing the video, I'm basically as I'm editing the video, I'm re-listening to the song like a hundred times over. And uh, it, it really became one of my favorite songs. And I, I talked about it so many times. Like that song had like those Nine Inch Nails vibes, in my opinion, at least those electronic sounds and whatnot. Uh, it was just, and the lyrics were so incredible. I just, uh, apologies for the blackouts, if anything. Um, it was just such a an amazing song. And it was one of those songs that really helped me out, out, of, out of this really um, uncomfortable situation. Uh, which is why I always found it kind of, you know, interesting that, you know, some people were kind of upset with me not reacting to more of Rosie's, uh, like I promised to react to on the ground, uh, to gone, sorry. And it took me a very long time to do so. And it's not because I didn't want to, it's just one of those things. There's so much content to, to check out. I constantly, I'm trying to to not make any promises nowadays to react to something because literally a few days later I may totally forget about it just because of the overwhelming amount of content overwhelming amount of you know comments of people wanting reaction to this and, and it will never end you know the second this gets released the first 10 15 20 comments is more requests to do other stuff some people are going to be incredibly polite about it some people are going to be incredibly demanding and almost be like, shame on you if you don't react to this. And it, it doesn't really make you want to react to it that much more. And it, 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 the funniest thing is that, you know, to get views, one of the easiest thing that would have been is just to go on a marathon of rosy reactions because those videos will get the views. Uh, it's not really about that. So I always felt kind of, while I understood that people were upset with me not reacting to Gone uh, right away and taking so much time because it took a very long time. But then again, Yuki no Hana by Jisoo, uh, her cover of that song. Clarity, my reaction to her cover of Clarity took... That video was like in December, I believe, or maybe even January. It was a while ago, and I promised to react to Yuki no Hana, and I only did it recently, like two weeks ago or so. Uh, it, it took a very, very long time, and it's not because I dislike Jisoo, it's not because of, of anything. I, I love them all, honestly. I, I honestly don't have a bias with Blackpink, but uh, I'm trying not to have a bias with Blackpink. I love them all so freaking much. But if I don't react to your favorite artist or your favorite song by an artist, it's not because of it's not because there's like some ul <laughs> ulterior uh motive or anything. It's just because uh you know, shit gets kind of, you know, a little bit chaotic and uh despite my hardest attempts, I I still kind of uh, fuck it up and take longer than it takes to get through it. But uh, it specifically kind of bothered me with Rosie because that song on the ground really means a shit ton to me because it was a very, a lot of these songs, a lot of songs that I reacted to during that period meant a lot to me with, you know, BTS's Dope is, is another one. Uh, and many other songs that really made me forget about what was happening, but it was definitely in the top top of the list. It was Rosie with On the Ground who helped me out so so tremendously. And I remember like getting through the first surgery in in October or November, or maybe it was the second surgery, and I reacted to a live performance by Blackpink, and I was so into it. I literally forgot about the fact that was that I was in so much pain, and literally the second that I turned off the recording, it's like all of that pain came back. It's And it was ex excruciating. So uh, Rosie means uh, more to me, and her songs mean more to me than you guys will, uh, uh, than I can explain, even though 
I feel like I explained it, but it, it's still, you know, it's still unexplainable the way that some artists and some songs at, at a particular period of your life make you feel. And they therefore those songs become so memorable to you. So, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry for going on this, uh, bit of a not sure if it's a rant or whatever and i still plan on uh reacting to lisa's um mentor compilation like uh lisa's mentor in a nutshell i believe the compilation is called i'm dying to check out more of lisa's dance videos because you know i got some comments on my uh, one of my last few blackpink uh live performances and people are like uh, saying that I don't like Lisa anymore or I don't like her as much as I used to. <laughs> and that cannot be further from the truth. Uh, trying to focus on everyone and trying to appreciate everyone and you being particularly uh, loving of one individual girl may perhaps make it feel as if I'm not paying enough attention to an individual girl because I'm trying to focus on all of them. It, it's kind of hard when you have like four members of this insanely incredible group and all of these four members are fucking outstanding. Uh, it, it's, it's hard to kind of, you know, focus on all of them in a way that uh, will make everyone feel happy because somebody likes one girl, somebody has a bias, somebody... Somebody just likes the group as in general. And, you know, in my reactions, I, I do talk about, you know, the, act, the, the, the lyrics a lot and, you know, trying to appreciate the dance without kind of sounding like I'm um, being a bit uh, weird about it. You know, all of these things, like uh, trying to appreciate all of them um, and give them all like equal time and perhaps kind of uh, maybe in some people's minds i'm 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 appreciating their favorites a little bit less uh but uh, i promise you that uh if it wasn't for lisa as most of you guys know this channel wouldn't be what it is this channel would not be a k-pop reaction channel if it wasn't for lisa and then blackpink uh this channel was would just be like this hobby channel where i react to some some music from time to time and most of that music would be just uh you know metalcore music or like maybe some deathcore and that would be pretty much it but then lisa came in popped uh in my youtube uh recommended feed and it was the the money dance performance and i was like let's check this one out and uh, and the channel kind of moved on from there if it wasn't for her this channel would not exist it wouldn't be what it is i'm not I'm not afraid of, of saying that if it wasn't for Lisa and if it wasn't for Blackpink, this channel wouldn't be. Uh, it wouldn't exist. It wouldn't be what it is today. And I owe a lot to, to K-pop in general, but especially to, to Blackpink. A lot of this channel is... It, the success of this channel was kind of, you know, very much depended on, on Lisa and on Blackpink in general. So, uh, yeah, love them all. Uh, try not to have a bias. Not sure. Probably don't. But, uh, yeah, if you st stuck around through all of this time, uh, watching me listen to me kind of rant and uh, say whatever, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out the Patreon if you want to see some exclusive reactions, including tons of blackpink content such as blackpink house diaries 24 365 lily's film uh the vlogs lily's world apologies not film uh lily's film is available on this channel the dance videos uh and um uh, tons more content like quindom one two snowdrop with jisoo currently reacting to road to kingdom checking out uh shelter view with jesse starting uh Hotel Del Luna. Uh, by the time this video pops up on YouTube, I would already have recorded and released the first reaction uh, to episode number one. So, uh, and a few more reactions that I probably didn't mention, like Blackpink documentaries. So, if you want to see all of that and also support the production of these videos and keep this channel going, make sure to check out the link in the description and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a wonderful, 
Hopefully you are having a wonderful weekend. You guys see you.